Hey what is going on guys, Power Gaming here back with another video talking about identity. If you remember a while ago I made a video comparing identity with No Man's Sky and while that is still valid, I thought that it was a bit unfair to compare identity with a game that was based around lives. So in this video I'm going to compare identity with games that have similar backgrounds. However, before that, there's a brand new dev blog on the Identity website where it gives a quick update on where the devs are at. One thing I'm pretty excited about is the fact that they are working on their vehicle systems. The stock Unreal Engine systems are apparently inadequate for Identity's realism. So naturally, the devs are just going to make their own, which is pretty exciting. Also, they posted this beautiful photo of a hotel lobby at night and a photo of the town square. It also talks about us getting a preview of the character custom customization soon so that either means we're going to get the town square soon or we're going to get a video or a photo of the character customization interfaces either way i can't wait to see what the devs have done Anyway, let's get on to the video. So, identity comparisons. To know how to really compare identity to a game is to compare it to games that have adapted from mods. And what is the better place to look than Armour? Armour modders created so many good mods that made it into their own games. We have the obvious Armour mod DayZ, and we have another mod that many PC gamers will definitely know by now because this is a recent release, and that is Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. One of these games succeeded in what they wanted to do, and the have failed pretty hard and I think we can all guess what game failed. So where do we start with Daisy? Well the original mod was so good, like it was freaking amazing. It then got even better when other people started to modify it by adding new maps or changing the rules to make the gameplay completely different. An example of this is Daisy Epoch. Like by far that mod variant was the absolute best version of Daisy in my opinion. Dean Hall wanted to create the standalone version of the game so we could have all of these different versions of Daisy that enable base building currency and so much more. Daisy really did show so much potential as a mod and the thought of it becoming a standalone game to achieve everything the armor engine was limiting to them was such an exciting thought. However, this unfortunately never came to be and Daisy turned into something that nobody asked for. And in many places, the mod was actually better than the game itself. Like, first of all, at least in the mod, you know where you spawn, as it does tell you. In the standalone, you just wander around and it's nearly impossible to find anybody because, first of all, the map is too big for such a small server size, but also you don't know where you are. And you can't exactly place a waypoint because you have to find maps. And if you do, you still can't place a waypoint because having fun isn't realistic. Also, I can't find loot, it might just be me, but all I seem to find is rotten food and that's absolutely useless. I mean, honestly, why spend development time on adding something that doesn't add anything to the game apart from roleplay situations? And what is the point for adding something for roleplay scenarios when you can't find anybody on the map? I just don't understand why they added things into the game that just isn't a priority for the Daisy experience. Why spend development time and money on something like that when they could just put it into something else? Like, I don't know maybe integrating Daisy into a new game engine, which is the sole reason you wanted a standalone version of Daisy to move away from the restrictive armor engine. Like, you could argue that they have added content into the game, but it's been three years, and more than half of the things that were in the 2015 roadmap still aren't even in the game. You can defend it all you want, but it's just not acceptable anymore. And it is really sad to see too, because I don't even think you can play the mod anymore, as most of the servers have been taken down. Daisy's failure, in my opinion, is way worse than No Man's Sky. I mean, Jesus, you've had a good game in the mod and you just had to go screw it up. Anyway, I went on a bit of a tangent there, rant over, but the point stands. Daisy failed for two main reasons, poor development management and them simply not changing the engine. In lighter news, a game that came from an armor mod succeeded, and that game is Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. And if you don't know what Battlegrounds is, then let me elaborate. It's just you and 99 other players. There's only one winner, so that means everyone else must die. It's just one big game of Battle Royale. You can play it in groups too, and that is pretty fun for team play and working out strategies. The original mod for armor was actually a mod for Daisy, funnily enough. It was called Armour 2 Daisy Battle Royale. It was then ported to Armour 3, then Player Unknown worked with the guys who made H1Z1. And then I'm guessing he didn't like the direction that the H1Z1 developers took, so he made his own game. And god damn it, it is so good. 
It totally expanded on everything the mod had to offer, and most importantly it changed the engine to the Unreal Engine, which is the engine the identity is using. I think it is very important the devs look at games that have failed but also succeeded that came from the same place, just so they can see what works and what doesn't work. I'm sure they already have to be honest, and it does seem that way too, because they haven't promised a bunch of things in a development roadmap, but also they haven't made any videos look bad. Granted yes, there's very little content to actually look at on the video side, but they want to keep them polished, and every video that they do put out they want to be proud of. I mean look at the alpha trailer for Battlegrounds, it looked too much like a H1Z1 clone. It wasn't great but it has changed a lot since the alpha trailer and it looks a lot better now obviously. Anyway guys, thanks for watching the video, please like, comment, share and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.